Okay, here we go. Stand by. Three, two, one, action. Assume nothing. Brash, bald face, blasphemy. Question everything. I find it extremely hard to imagine. Open your eyes. It is quite all right to be an atheist. The fastest growing group of people in the country has been measured as being those who have no belief or who are atheists. You don't have to be apologetic or quiet about it. Challenge the opposition. You see religion on a hundred fronts losing the argument. And start thinking. This is The Thinking Atheist Worldwide. Yeah, I gripe a lot about the internet, the divisiveness, the bad information, the depersonalization that happens with those of us who use the internet a lot. I gripe about the internet, but I also do love the internet. And second, Civil War Letters is one of the reasons why. Now, for those who are not familiar with what's been going on over the past several days, allow me to give you kind of a framework, okay? And I will read to you from cbsnews.com an article written by Jason Silverstein, hashtag Second Civil War Letters, Alex Jones' Conspiracy Theory Sparks Viral Joke. The Second Civil War is off to a fun start. A baseless claim by InfoWars conspiracy theorist Alex Jones that Democrats will launch a civil war on July 4th has inspired a viral hashtag Second Civil War Letters social media movement of users mocking that idea. Second Civil War letters became a top-trending Twitter topic Wednesday as users wrote imaginary dispatches from what a civil war would look like in 2018. One user in New York City wrote, Dearest, I am okay. I was almost captured by a curly-haired blonde girl with an AR-15, but she was just taking selfies with the gun, so I was able to escape. Colonel Morris Davis, a retired U.S. Air Force officer who served as chief prosecutor for Guantanamo Bay Military Commissions, chimed in, Dear Alexa, we are pinned down and in urgent need of ammunition. Please send ASAP, but only if it qualifies for Amazon Prime's free shipping. The last paragraph of the article says that Jones has been claiming for years that elites or the establishment will push the country into an imminent civil war. He wrongly predicted that particular events, such as the 2016 militia standoff in an Oregon wildlife refuge, would start it. Well, of course, this being the Thinking Atheist radio podcast, but also acknowledging that I'd like to occasionally depart from the standard topics of atheism and religion. We're still rooting ourselves in facts versus fantasy, and Alex Jones' conspiracy theories definitely qualify as fantasy. And it was a great excuse to have some fun on the holiday weekend. Now, I think humor is often one of the best ways to deal with the insanity of humanity. And most of us are aware of who Alex Jones is. If you're not, let me give you just a quick profile. Uh, Alex Jones is... Kind of a nut bar, extreme right wing conspiracy radio and television host or online TV host based in Austin, Texas. There's a lot of chatter out there as to whether he genuinely believes the craziness that he spouts. Other people say that Alex Jones is just a performance artist and the whole on air persona is nothing but theater, it's just an act. In fact, his lawyer said as much. Uh, whenever he was going through a custody battle, a big nasty court battle over custody of his kids with his estranged wife, Kelly Jones. They have three children. The kids were in play. And so to help prove his stability, his lawyer had said, oh, he is a performance artist. And this is why I suspect he's just totally full of crap and filling his pockets. But he launched yet another conspiracy theory that Democrats, Democrats were going to launch a civil war on July 4th of this year. Right. Democrats are anti-American. We hate this country. This is the narrative they spin. Democrats are the antithesis of the flag waving, chest thumping, right hand to God patriotism that this country not only deserves, but demands. Democrats, we are anti-America. And on July the 4th, the Democrats were going to launch a second civil war. Well, the Internet grabbed this sucker and just ran with it. And the hashtag Second Civil War Letters 
is a riff on the letters that soldiers would often send home from the battlefield, not just during the Civil War, but probably during most conflicts throughout human history. You know, letters to mother and father, to spouse, to children, to friend, recapping the events of the previous days or hours, expressing in a very transparent way the raw feelings that come with knowing your finite life might end at any moment. The letters from battle. Well, this is the tone that hashtag Second Civil War Letters has taken on Twitter and Facebook. And it was something that I myself couldn't resist getting in on. I posted, The blitzkrieg of Twitter typos has splintered troop morale. The battlefield reeks of urine and Putin. Trump Tower has refortified. We treat our wounded and wait for the orange hue of dawn. Well, if you follow the hashtag, Second Civil War Letters on Twitter, you're going to see, I think there may be thousands of these, and I just sort of scroll through and found some of the best ones, subjectively, arguably, some of the best ones, and I thought I would just read them for you here, because sometimes you just have to laugh at this stuff. Joseph is apparently an educator. Joseph said, Dear parents, the war rages on. General DeVos's forces have cut off our supply lines bombed us with privatization propaganda, and attacked our professionalism. Still, we teachers continue to do more with nothing. Send pencils. Dictionary.com got in on it. It said, Dear Mom and Dad, we've put out the word that there, with apostrophe, there, T-H-E-R-E, and there, T-H-E-I-R, all have different meanings. We hold out hope that our message will be heard. Yours truly, the dictionary. Grab him by the ballots posted. Dear John, the red hats are coming. The red hats are coming. Just kidding. They got directions from the sign maker. And they posted a sign that has the painted words, Liberty, no R, Liberty or Tranny. (laughs) Liberty a tranny. <laughs> Saya said, we've snuck behind enemy lines and removed the gender-specific signage from their latrines. Now we wait for their bladders to explode. Sam posted, Dear Ma and Pa, it's day two of the Second Civil War. My comrades and I have set up camp in a library. There is absolutely no chance they will find us here. Lisa posted, Dear General Rodham, we've gained on the enemy by building a wall of your emails, which they can't get over. Heath posted, My dearest Rose, there are but few places in this heathen field for a man to charge his iPad. Worse, I fear you must imagine the lunch I'm having as the Instagram is down. Fabulously, Heath X. Buford, 1st Hipster Battalion, the Fighting Kale Raps. Dr. Doom said, My dearest, at first we were scared of the enemy artillery, but when we realized their trajectory math was based on the earth being flat, we relaxed. Their shelling has fallen woefully short for days, and yet they refuse to recalculate. JL posted a screenshot of a food ration coupon. It said, Ration coupon... United States of America, Office of Price Administration, ration coupon for 10 slices of avocado toast. Sarah posted, Our troops heading toward enemy lines. May they go with God. War is hell. And she posted a photograph of people on those those little pedal buses. Have you seen them? You put five people on each side. There's a table between them. And underneath the stools are pedals, and they actually pedal these things like cars. I guess it's a visual gag, but uh, it's there if you want to see it. Groucho posted this. He said, at dawn, we surrounded the podium. It was then that we captured the flag. And he posted a photograph of Sarah Huckabee Sanders and a pair of granny panties. Ruth said, My dearest Fanny, we survived an ambush by Red Hats today by changing road signs from directions to Rand Paul's home to 
RuPaul's home. Many were confused and simply returned to their camp. Jerry posted, Dear Queen Elizabeth, We may have made a mistake a few hundred years ago, just wondering if you might consider taking us back. Could we at least borrow William and Harry and their spouses? We don't seem to have a first family. Johan posted something in all seriousness. He just posted a photograph of something that had been spray-painted on a wall. It said, Resistance. Because if we fight, we might lose. But if we don't fight, we've already lost. Elenia said, We've reached Fort Indianapolis, where the Holy Family has been captured. What manner of evil is this? And she has that shot of the person's uh, front yard where they put the nativity scene inside a cage to represent the detainment of families at the border. Rob said, My dearest Polly, it's with a heavy heart that I must withdraw my fighting skills from the battlefield on the morrow. It appears I have spurs of bone, the likes of which no one has ever seen. Kendall said, My love, As we approach the front, we see the artillery above the lake. I am struck by the intensity of the battle and concerned for the good people who line the shores to observe our victory, which is imminent. And the video she posted is that of the big fireworks display over Manhattan on the evening of July the 4th. Just a few more for the hell of it. Irina said, Dear husband, battle today was holy chaos. Until noon when the new Beyoncé single dropped and we recovered formation. I felled three dozen red hats with my hair flips alone. Send weaves, beloved, and I shall think of you and eternal glory. Lindell said, Loved ones, it's been a long first day at war. I'm tired, my feet are sore, and the Airbnb host did not leave the Wi-Fi code. Also, no coffee maker. Revolution is hard. Jiggle said, Family, damn, it's at least 105 degrees out here. The potato and macaroni salad has turned. We ran to the casino to cool off, but the tribal commission told both sides to get the hell out of their nation. Pickle's mom said, We've broken into the enemy's armory. Please advise. And there's a photograph of a store section filled with tiki torches. Satiro said, Beloved, I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Space Force ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. I watched nine irons glitter in the dark near the mar largo gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Bonus points, by the way, for the reference to Blade Runner. KN just marked himself safe. You know how you can do that on Facebook? Marked safe from the Second American Civil War, July the 4th, 2018. Audrey's tweets actually posted a battle map, I guess referring to some of the stuff that Alex Jones has referenced on his show. There's the Flying Squirrel Squadron, the Battle of the Diaper Bulge, Gay Frog Armies number one and two, Beaver Brigade, the Moose Corps, Operation Sahara Dust, which is apparently referring to the Obama mind control chemtrails, and of course the Pool Noodle Platoon. And perhaps TDP said it best when he said this. He said, Dear Mother, Carl Sandberg once said, Sometime they'll give a war and nobody will come. Today was that day. Neither side fielded its army. No one died. Tomorrow we may fight again, but not today. Your son. Anyway, this has just been sort of a post 4th of July distraction as we get set for what for many will be a long holiday weekend. Just an interesting, kind of a fun look at more conspiracy nonsense from the mind and mouth of Alex Jones and, of course, Twitter's often brilliant responses to such insanity. I'll be back in just a few days on Tuesday, Sunday for my patrons with our regularly scheduled podcast. Till then, thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. Follow The Thinking Atheist on Facebook and Twitter.
Watch dozens of original videos on the Thinking Atheist YouTube channel. And visit our website for resources, links, contact information, the editor's blog, and more. TheThinkingAtheist.com